Hello, welcome to the Center of Math's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. In this week's problem, we're given the uh, vector field F, and we're being asked to find the uh, divergence and the curl of uh, the vector field. So first, we're going to find the divergence, which is going to be the dot product between the gradient operator and our vector field. So when we write something as the dot product of the gradient operator um, with the vector field, um, it's helpful to write it out um, like this and think about um, the, rather than multiplying the uh, gradient operator uh, with the um, partial derivative, uh, we're going to be taking the partial derivative with respect to x of the x exponent and then adding that to the partial derivatives uh, with respect to uh, y and with respect to z. Uh, so let's go ahead and take our partial derivatives. So with each of these, um, the first, first the partial derivative is uh, 2, then 3, then 4. So we get that the divergence of the vector field is going to be equal to 9. Uh, so now uh, let's go ahead and take the uh, three-dimensional curl, which is going to be the cross product of the gradient operator with the vector field. So once you set up your, uh, your matrix, you're going to take the determinant and um, you're going to start by um, looking at just uh, these um, uh, four. And you're going to take the uh, partial derivative of 4z plus x with respect to y and the partial derivative of, uh, of 3y plus z with respect to z. And you're going to subtract um, one from the other, so I'll write the whole thing out. So once you write it out, this is what um, each individual uh, matrix you're going to evaluate is going to look like. Um, so here we'll do the first one. Um, the partial derivative of 4z plus x with respect to x is going to be uh, 1. And here the partial derivative of uh, z, the partial derivative with respect to z of 3y uh, plus z is going to be um, equal to 1. And here uh, we have uh, this partial derivative with respect to x um, of 4z uh, minus x uh, is, again, is going to be 1 here. Uh, this is going to be 0. So 0 minus 1, or sorry, 1 minus 0. And then here, uh, partial derivative with respect to x is going to be 0. The partial derivative of this with respect to y is going to be, um, it's going to be 1. So here we get negative 1i uh, minus 1 minus 0j plus negative 1k. It's going to give us Um, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1 as the three-dimensional curl of, uh, of the vector field F. So that concludes this week's problem. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter and take a look at our blog at centermath.org. Thank you.